Hi, my name's Tove Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the online version of BandLab, where I'll show you everything you need to know to create a professional song in BandLab. And in this part one, we'll start with the sampler. Type bandlab.com into your internet browser. If you don't have a BandLab account, click on sign up and create an account. If you do have a BandLab account, click on Log In. Then enter your login details. At the top right of the screen, click on Create. On the pop up menu, click on Sampler. If you want to use a sampler kit that has already been made by BandLab, at the top left of the sampler pane, which is at the bottom of the browser window, click on the word Custom, just below the words Sampler Kit, and click on Curated Kits on the pop-up menu. Then click on a name of a sampler kit from the pop-up list. Once the kit is loaded, press on the pads to hear the sounds loaded on each of the pads. I'm going to create my own sampler kit instead. So I will delete this sampler and add a new one. Near the top of the screen, click on the three dots to the right of the sampler track name. Then click on Delete Track on the pop-up menu. Then click on Sampler on the pop-up menu that now appears. To add a BandLab sample to a pad at the bottom right of the browser window, click on BandLab Sounds. To add a Loops sample to a pad, just above the pop-up sample list, click on Loops. Click on the play icon to the left of a sample's name in the pop-up list to hear the sample. Then click on the pause icon to stop playback of the sample. Now drag a sample from the pop-up list to a pad to add the sample to the pad. The pad will now turn blue. To the right of the pads, the wave edit window will now show the sample. And above the wave edit window, there is a play button and the name of the pad. Here I want a one-shot sample. So just above the pop-up sample list, click on One Shots. Then type 05 Vinyl Layer in the search box. Now drag the sample to pad 2. Then at the bottom right of the browser window, click on BandLab Sounds to close the pop-up list. To copy pad 2 to pad 3, right mouse click on pad 2 and click on Copy on the pop-up menu. Now right mouse click on pad 3 and click on paste on the pop-up menu. I only want the beginning of the sample, so click on pad 2 to select it.
Then drag the grey trim marker at the end of the Wave Edit screen to the left. Click on the play icon to check the edited sample. Just below the bottom right of the Wave Edit screen are three play mode options. The pad is currently set to one shot. So when you click on the pad or click on the play icon, the whole of the edited sample is played once. Click on gate and the sample will only play while you press on the pad or play icon. Click on loop and the sample will play over and over again until you stop pressing the pad. Also, below the Wave Edit screen are six knob icons. Press on a knob icon and drag the mouse up or down the screen to adjust the settings. Drag up the screen on the Volume knob icon to make the sample sound louder. Drag up the screen on the pan knob icon to move the sound of the sample to the right of the stereo mix and drag down the screen to move the sound of the sample to the left of the stereo mix. Drag up or down the screen on the pitch knob icon to change the pitch of the sound. The attack knob icon adjusts the amount of fade in on the sample. The release knob icon adjusts how long the sound plays for after you release the pad. Drag up the screen on the tone knob icon to add a high pass filter. Drag down the screen on the tone knob icon to add a low pass filter. The pan knob icon at the bottom right of the browser window sets the pan for all of the pads. The Reverb knob icon adds reverb to all the pads.
The volume slider sets how loud all the pads are. To add an effect to all the pads, at the bottom left of the screen, click on FX Effects. Then click on Add Effect. Then select an effect from the pop up menu. To return to the sampler screen, at the bottom left of the browser screen, tap on Sampler. To remove an effect, click on the X icon on the effect. To import your own sample to a pad, click on an empty pad. Then click on Import File. Now click on your sample. To record a sample, click on an empty pad, then click on Record. Record your sound into your microphone, then click on Stop. To change the pad colour, click on the pad. Then at the top right of the Wave Edit window, click on the word Colour. And click on a colour from the pop-up menu. To make one pad stop playing when you play another pad, add both pads to the same pad group. To do this, click on a pad. Then at the top right of the Wave Edit window, click on the word Group. And click on 1, 2, 3 or 4 on the pop-up menu. Now click on the other pad. Click on the word group again. Then click on the same number on the pop-up menu. To save your sample kit, at the left side of the sampler window, click on Save As. Type in a name on the pop-up window. Then click on Create. You can now load your sampler kit in other projects or tracks by clicking on the drop-down list at the left side of the sampler window that is just below the words Sampler Kit. Click on My Kits on the pop-up menu. Then click on the name of your sampler kit on the pop-up list. To add a sample to the step sequencer, at the bottom left of the browser window, click on MIDI Editor. Click on the pad icon to hear the pad sound. At the top right of the step sequencer window, click on the zoom icon. Now click in the pad row to add the sample.
Now drag the end of the note to the end of the bar. At the top of the screen, click on the play icon to play the sample. Here I want to add more samples. Near the top of the screen, on the track mixer screen, click on the drag icon at the bottom right corner of the sampler section. Then drag to the right. Then back on the step sequencer screen, we can add more notes. Double click to add a note, then double click on a note to delete it. To change the velocity of a note to the left of the step sequencer window, click on the V icon. Then press on the note and drag the cursor up the screen to increase the velocity or down the screen to reduce the velocity. Now that I've added my sampler, I'm going to save my project. At the top right of the browser window, click on Save. To close the project, at the top left of the browser window, Click on the three lines. Then on the pop-up menu, click on Exit. BandLab saves the project with the name New Project. To change the project's name at the right side of the screen, click on Project Details. Then click on the three dots to the right of the project name. And click on Rename on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your project. Then click on Confirm. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.